morning guys let's move on towards the next part of your geotechnical engineering uh, so let's move on towards the plasticity index so what is meant by plasticity index you can just note down along with the formula it's very important for the solution of problem plasticity index which is denoted by ip it is the difference between liquid limit liquid limit is explained to you in the last class liquid limit and plastic limit plastic limit so that is ip equals wl minus wp where ip is elasticity index wl is liquid limit wp is plastic limit so this is the first term then second term consistency index denoted by ic so you can write down it is the ratio of difference between liquid limit and water content to the plastic limit to the plastic limit that is ic equals wl minus w that is water content divided by plastic limit the next you can write down liquidity index i l it is the ratio of difference between water content and plastic limit to the plastic plasticity index to the plasticity index denoted by il equals wc minus wp divided by ip next the last one toughness index it is uh, it is denoted by it it is the ratio of plasticity index to flow index where that is it equals ip by if where if equals w1 minus w2 divided by log to the base 10 en2 by n1 so all this things you should know and write the today's date it's 15 10 20 okay so these are the some of the terms to be known before solving the problem so now let's move on towards one problem solution of problem let's see how we can solve this so the question is directly here on the screen the clay soil was tested for the liquid limit it's very important okay and plastic limit the following results the following 
determinations were obtained or oh, sorry the following you can write down <laughs> following details were obtained determine the plasticity index consistency index liquidity index flow and toughness index if the plastic limit is 28 percent and natural water content water content is 35 percent so number of blows 35 23 18 12 water content 44.6 49.4 51.4 55.6 so now so we'll write down the you can copy down this okay you can pause the video and copy down this part so now we'll write down given hope you don't mind uh, with my cough and cold i'm just suffering through the cold given plastic limit is 28 percent that is 0 0.28 in terms of decimal water content is 25 35 percent that is 0 0.35 liquid limit liquid limit we'll just write down it is 48.5 percent that is 0 0.485 so here this table is given to you you have to gr draw a normal graph of showing number of blows I am drawing it here roughly you have to plot it on the graph sheet okay number of blows and water content on y axis so now for if i take number of blows it's in 10 20 30 if i take in terms of 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and percentage in terms of 10 20 30 40 50 60 and so on so if I plot a graph roughly you can see here for 33 it is 44 for 33 blows it is 44 somewhere here for 23 23 here it is somewhere 49 49 will come here for 50 for 18 blows 18 will come here it is 51 year for 12 year it is 55 somewhere here the graph will come like this now for 25 corresponding blows you have to find out the value of water content so this is 48.5 percent is liquid limit w l so this value whatever we have written is from this graph for 25 blows corresponding value will be a liquid limit okay so now the calculation of plastic plasticity index so you have to make this a proper graph okay ip is equal to wc minus wp wc is equal to not wc it's wl minus wp so 0 0.85 wl minus 0 0.28 so it is 0 0.205 second consistency index IC equals WL minus W divided by IP. So it's 0 0.485 minus 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.205. So that is 0 0.65. Then third one liquidity index. 
is equal to W minus WP divided by IP. So IL it is 0 0.35 minus 0 0.28 divided by IP 0 0.205. So it comes around about 0 0.34. So finally the last one. flow index is equal to if equals w1 minus w2 divided by log to the base 10 n2 minus n1 so w1 you can mention it as 55.6 percent w2 is equal to 44.6 percent i'll tell you n1 is equal to 12 n2 is equal to 34 so highest one so w1 water content the highest one you can take w1 is 55 and the lowest one you can take w2 corresponding 12 will be n1 34 will be n2 okay same thing we have done here so that's what we are going to plot it back 0 0.556 minus 0 0.446 divided by log to the base 10 34 by 12 so therefore i of i get it around about 0 0.24 so these are all the values calculated through the problem so this is the way you need to solve even if you want toughness index you can find it out i'll just write it here toughness index it is equal to ip by if ip is 0 0.205 if is 0 0.24 so i get it as 0 0.84 so you can even write this okay thank you